a true story. Another gentleman decided to borrow a financial facility to buy a home. And he was able to borrow 1.5 million and he started repaying according to the terms and conditions. And then suddenly, after he had paid and had remained with about 300,000, he lost his job. What happens when you lose your job? Since he had this loan to repay, the first people that he would approach was his family members. So he went to the immediate family members and to the larger family members, please help me, I might lose this house if I don't do something. And none of the family members responded to his need. The wife left him and uh, as he was pondering, dejected, no, confused, not knowing what to do, one time he was standing on the street and he removed his wallet just to check what was inside. And of course, there was nothing. Only his ID card, identification card was inside. And as he was holding it like this, a thief came and snatched that wallet and took off with it. And as he was running, crossing the street, he was hit by a car and died on the spot. So what happened? And this man was not aware of what had happened to the thief. So the police came, took the body to the morgue, and they found that wallet with the ID. And they traced the family. They say, we have found one of your members. He was hit by a car and died. So the family members, because they got their, his ID, they started preparing for the burial. And the family members, this was a good guy. Hey, we need to support, we need to give him a de deserving burial. And they put a target of, we are going to raise 100, uh, 1 million for his burial. And the target for the family was 500,000. And they did that. They were quickly able to raise 500,000. And then they reached out to his place of work, to their colleagues and to their friends and to the neighbor. And the neighbors were able to raise 300,000, a total of about 800,000. And they prepared for the burial, for the funeral. But this guy was not aware what had happened. But suddenly he, he came across a newspaper obituary and he saw his story. <laughs> and he decided to play, to play, to play with them. So he saw the date of the burial, and he said, they will see. So on the day of the burial, while they were organizing the service, ready to go bury the guy, he appeared in person. <laughs> what happened? Some would say, this is a ghost. They got terrified. That burial was scattered. That's what happened to the disciples when Jesus appeared to them. <laughs> 